so now we are just going to start it uh, here is our starting point as you can see just I have to pick it on camera a little bit position I will have to the camera so that you will be able to see and I will be able to wind it so it should be like this or a little more wire we have to keep it so then it will be easy for our future operations like this I'm not closing it just putting the wire in and then going back so the way you have to give a complete turn like this and then you have to give a complete turn on the shaft one turn and then put it over here in this one just uh, open it and put it over here and then up to 10 so we will have to count one time so that we will be uh, double sure then uh, it will not be a mistake we will not make a mistake actually one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so up to here up to here okay so one turn completed it's a labor intense work it's not easy if you are going to learn it it's okay otherwise it's a labor intense work it has no benefit to do it for the making money so three turns completed 18 turns we will do because the original coil was having 18 turns four turns completed five six seven here I'm getting problem I just put 17 turns now it is 18 turns completed it 18 turns completed okay so now what we will do is we will have to come over here and fix the wire next to the starting point the starting point was this one so next is this one we will put the wire over here but how we will do it like this we will do it like this and then complete turn and come back but what we will do as we just got a mark over here so what we will do is we will have to grab our blade and just remove the insulation from this wire just some points are very difficult to pick on camera because I'm working I'm talking and I'm just filming I'm trying to capture every detail but sometimes it is difficult it's okay so now just I removed this coat or this enamel from a clear coat whatever you are saying from this one by using a blade a sharp blade I have to use I have to remove this coating from so that it will make a contact with the commutator the first one I did not make it yet I will do it later on that's not difficult because that's not in the midway it could be done later on also but this was important this was coming in the midway so it's like that and then of course we have to wind it the same way and bring it to the second to the starting point set, set second of the starting point and then put it over here like this and give not like this but like this one and then go like this like this okay so now again complete turn come back and come to the next slot as we went 18 turns were here from here to 10th so from here next slot we have to come and we have to put the wire in and do the winding same way and it will come over here next to the ending of the first one as if we will count it from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this is coming 10th one this one that will be the beginning before this was the beginning and this was the ending now this is the beginning 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and this is the ending so same way we have to wind the coil as we wound the first coil so these will be the starting and the ending as just I show you and the rest of the procedure the whole thing will go around 
and the ending will come over here that I will show you later on while I will complete now is the ending of uh, this job as you can see uh, here is what just I scrap it here so this will go to the commutator segment uh, just uh, complete this coil and then later on we will start the final coil so here it will go as you can see just I put a paper also over here underneath uh, this will prevent it from the short circuiting to the starting end of the coil it's better sometimes we put it if we have doubt for the short circuiting so just I put it like that and now is the time to go to the uh, ending coil which is the last final coil in this machine so it will be here as you can see I just rotate it and come to here this already one side is there as you can see one side of coil is there and this will be the final side which will be put over here and then tenth of the slot 1 to 10 slot I have to come over here this is the 10th slot as you can see so 10 slot I have to wind uh, just I will uh, I will hold it like this and will wind 18 turns of wire 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 and 18 so these 18 turns had been come and now is the time to put it to the beginning of the coil as you see this is the beginning here is the beginning so it will join the beginning of the coil and will be like this will scrap it and cut it over here so by this way this machine had been completed as you can see each and every slot con is containing um, two sides of coils and here each and every segment is containing also two connections uh, so this by this way this uh, machine had been completed uh, later on I will show you how to press these so pressing is simple enough just I will hold the machine against some support and just hammer it uh, by the mean by means of uh, small hammer or uh, even a the plier can do so, so little little I will hammer it and by this way they will be uh, fixed and they will be pressed and later on I will cut these uh, papers so as you can see now this is almost complete uh, these uh, extra papers they should not be there they should be uh, pressed inside or uh, folded inside so only the metal uh, core which is over here under my finger this should be exposed to the uh, field winding so for this purpose what we are using we, we, we can use a, a wooden or plastic or teflon or whatever uh, spludger you have to use uh, for the pressing of the winding uh, actually uh, these uh, metallic screwdrivers and uh, blades they are not recommended don't use them instead only this uh, soft uh, soft item like wood or uh, teflon or whatever plastic you are using so that you have to use to set down the windings in some way like this in the slots they are already set in but uh, just I'm going to show you if your winding is not set properly so you can use it and you can set your winding properly you can place them in the slots by a press method like this one and now is the time to cut uh, these uh, extra uh, papers so for this you have to use a scissor have to just cut it down somewhere close to the core like this 
so now they have been cut as you can see a little bit exposed say some way uh, two three millimeter they are exposed outside so what we will do is we will have to fold uh, these by the way we will do our work and fold them inside the core uh, inside the winding i mean we have to fold them so that they will cover the winding from the upside so by this way do your work and press one side just first by the wooden spludger you will not have a tension of uh, removing the enamel from the winding or uh, making injury to the wires so by this way you have to just do it your because these plastics are a little bit hard to press actually and especially in this much close space they are a bit difficult to press them but it's okay they are pressing very well in my case and for sure they will be in your case as well it's not very difficult it's something easy job if you will do it one time you will be able to hold off the work and will be able to easily do it so by this way you have to press them in now you can see the paper is in and it is pressed inside and what we will have to do is we have to take this extra paper which had been cut off of the paper which was remaining so better we have to make it narrow a little bit with this we just cut a narrow piece of the paper and just put it in as a wedge so some way like this up to the distance you can put it it's okay otherwise use your spludger and just pull it in just pull it in do your work will need a little effort to put it in like this and if it is not completely in it's not a problem just cut it over here somewhere just it will cover the winding from the top and then because sometimes these uh, papers which we folded we have been folded they have not been folded properly somewhere it is folded somewhere it is not use your spludger and fix it in so for sure this will not come and especially if we will put the wire, uh, the insulation uh, insulating varnish on the top so they will cover the windings very well so by this way as you can see now it's okay it seems okay and uh, just while well, the varnish will be put this will be fixed like a stone it will not come off anything will not come off and uh, the work will be done very properly so by this way you have to cut all and do your work as one other also i did this is very very much perfect you can see the other one also i made will i will make it perfect but i will do it off camera because on the lens of the camera i'm looking at and doing the work it is very difficult and later on i will show you the whole uh, rotor while it will be completed